Hi everyone, so we're gonna do just a jazz beginner technique little slideshow and um, we're gonna work on our pirouettes today. So, oh, here we go. So we're gonna start with a, a warm up. We're gonna roll our head. Roll our shoulders back. And bring your arm around. And switch your other arm. I'm really working those shoulders, opening them up. You're gonna roll down and touch your toes. Make sure you're keeping your legs straight. You're gonna plie, bend your legs, sit all the way down to the floor. Make sure you're sitting with your back straight up, legs straight out in front of you. You're gonna to touch your toes. Try and see if you can fold forward, touch your nose to your knees. Remember to keep your legs straight and your toes pointed at all times. We're gonna open up to our straddle. Make sure your legs are staying straight. And big stretch all the way over. Make sure you're keeping your arms above your ears not in front of your face. You really wanna get this side stretch. And switch to the other side. Remember to keep your legs straight and arms straight out in front of you. You're gonna reach forward, try and go as far down as you can without rolling your legs in. Good, we're gonna do that just one more time. Get a deeper, deeper stretch all the way over. And up, switch to the other side. Good, and stretch forward all the way down. Remember, you wanna keep your toes up, your legs straight. All right, now we're gonna sit straight backs up, legs straight out in front of you. You're gonna point and flex your feet 20 times. When doing this, you wanna make sure you're keeping your legs straight. Stay flex and you're gonna roll we're gonna go 20 times to the right. And then we're also gonna do 20 times to the left as you can do on your own. Remember, you wanna keep your legs super straight. You don't want your legs rolling around as you're rolling your ankles. You wanna keep your legs really straight and just work those ankles and your feet. Good, all right. And you're gonna hold your pointed legs, pointed toes for 10 seconds. And flex. Good, all right, now let's go to standing. We're gonna feet, keep our feet together in parallel first position. You're gonna go up to your releve, so just on your toes. Not all the way up, you wanna keep your toes bended. We're gonna go up and down 20 times. You want to make sure that you're keeping your ankles tight together, keeping your legs tight together, and your legs are really, really straight. You want to make sure you engage your core. We can keep our hands on our hips just for balance. This you can do all on your own 20 times up and down. While you're doing this, you really want to be thinking in your head, holding in your core muscles. What does that mean? You want to tighten your muscles so your body is not falling around everywhere, right? We're keeping our hands on our hips, keeping our back nice and straight, our shoulders down. So we don't wanna look like this, not all tense. Keep them down, keep going. Up and down with those ankles, straight legs. Good. Now we're gonna try a little bit of a challenge. You're gonna keep your feet together. You're gonna go up to your releve but you're gonna pick up your right foot. You're just gonna bring it to your ankle. So we're transferring our weight from two feet 
to one foot. You're gonna try this on your own. If you fall, that's okay. Why did you fall? If you're falling towards the foot that's up, right? Maybe you're leaning this way a little bit. If you're falling the opposite way, you're maybe leaning the opposite way. You wanna make sure that you're keeping your body nice and straight, continuing your hands on your hips. You wanna make sure that the foot that you're standing on has a straight leg. You're on your big toe. You don't wanna be on your pinky. You're gonna hurt your ankles. You wanna force, put all of your weight on your big toe. Right, you're still just trying to try and hold it as long as you can, really getting used to just being on one foot from the two feet. Now, if you're feeling like you got this and that you can take it to the next level, when you're picking up that one foot, you're going to bring it all the way up to your knee into your passe. So remember, just your big toe is touching your knee and that your um, standing leg is going to be straight the whole entire time. You want to start from two feet. And then you're going to bring it all the way up to your knee. Same thing if you're falling this way or if you're falling this way. Why do you think it is? Are you holding in your core? Are your arms nice and strong next to you? Are you is your back straight? Are you kind of leaning side to side a little bit? It's okay if you fall, but this is all the things that we're going to learn and we're focusing on, right? Good, okay, so the next part we're gonna do is we're gonna start at a fourth position. So you're gonna have your left foot forward and your right foot back behind, not too much, just a little bit of a space in your plie with your arm straight out in front of you this time. You're gonna plie and then you're gonna go up to relevate to that passe position, just like we were at. So you wanna make sure you're focusing on your hips, on your core, on your back, keeping nice and straight, because this time we're gonna be moving from one place to another, okay? Just try and get the idea of this. I have a video to show you in the next slide, right? So we wanna go from two feet to one foot, but it, like before our legs were together and we were picking one up. Now we have to actually move our weight from two feet in an open position to that one foot position forward, right? So you wanna make sure that you have enough force to go forward, but not too much where you're gonna fall forward, right? You wanna find that, that perfect medium, okay? Pirouettes. Sometimes we like to keep it simple. But first, get this oh no. Pirouettes. Sometimes we like to patron of the week. Carolyn Rod, thank you for your support. Congratulations, get darling. To you where she starts. And the patron. What? All right. Okay, friends, so we're going to do some pirouette exercises to nail those babies down. The first ones we're going to do are just from your pirouette prep. The second one is your six step. And the third one is the chasse pas de pure that lands in a relevé. All three of those are great progressions for no matter what level you are. So grab some space, make sure you have some good shoes on, or if you're a barefoot turner, all the more power to you. Let's do this. So the first one that we're gonna be doing is just your pirouette prep. So I'm gonna be doing jab pirouettes for this vlog. So um, you'll wanna be in parallel. We're gonna start parallel feet together. You do a tom do with your arms to a T. My right foot's gonna go back, I'm doing right side pirouettes, my right arm comes forward. What you wanna think of is being completely upright. Don't lean forward or back or side or side, just go straight up and down. Get that neutral spine under, plie, Right, so this is what we just talked about when we were saying in our balancing position, we don't want our body moving side to side or back and front because then when we go to do our releve and our pirouette, we are going to fall over, right? So she's showing you um, really that you want to be really centered and this is your fourth position with your feet open. You want to be really centered right in the center. You want strong arms. You want to engage that core down, chin up, high releve in the back, 10 million things to check off your list, and then you're ready to turn. From here, you're going to push up to a passe hold, and then go back to your prep. This is training your body to find grounding, and it has to control the lower down, so squeeze your tummy, squeeze your, I don't know why I'm pointing down, squeeze your booty, your butts, and your guts, baby. We're here. Then you're going to take a single pirouette up and you're going to land back down into a fourth position. So what I just did is realistic for some of us, yes? 
Um, turning is not my strongest, strongest suit, but I do love teaching it because it's so mechanical. Um, but you might have little hops and bounces. And the way to kind of eliminate those is to spot, let your body know where you are in space so that your eyes aren't looking around and to use your plie. So let's see if I can eliminate the bounce. Come up, plie, that was better. <laughs> that was better, Miss Hachi. Did you see the difference there? So the first pirouette she did, she did that turn and she kind of bounced a little bit. She really wasn't engaging in her core. She wasn't really holding in her body muscles like we spoke about, right? So the second time when she was really focusing in her head, she was like, all right, let's do this check, this little check mark, right? I have to hold in my core. I need a spot. I need to hold my arms really strong. And she landed much, much stronger. Let's take a look back at that. Let's see that your eyes aren't looking around and to use your plie. So let's see if I can eliminate the bounce. Come up, plie, that was better. <laughs> that was better, Miss Hachi. Heighten myself up, okay? I used my plie and I spot. Spotted? That doesn't seem right, but you know what I mean, past tense of spot. So that exercise is parallel, tendu, plie, prep, plie single plie and then you can keep bumping up to doubles to triples keep landing in this fourth fourth position my legs and my um abductors and my booty are already burning because i'm letting myself go so deep into the floor with my plie okay again as many rotations as you would like but start out with just a hold bring your body back down to your prep try a single Bring it back down. You can try a double. Bring it back down. All of those little wobbles, we're going to work on getting those out using all of the technical elements, spotting, plie, squeezing, bringing your rib cage in. This exercise is perfect for eliminating those little um, nuances that you have in your turns. Good job. We're on to our sixth set. This one is good for trying. All right, so I just wanted to go over and review and I want us to practice that all on our own. How, what are like the checklists and like the perfect things you need for a pirouette, right? So tell me if you can think of any on your own. I'll, I'll, right? Good. Let's go over the checklist, right? When you want to have the perfect pirouette, you want to engage your core. Like we said before, it's not like you're holding your breath. You want to be able to breathe, but you want to hold and tighten the muscles in your abdominals area. That's the center of your body, the center of everything. Everything surrounds your center core. You want to have strong arms when you're in preparation, when you are doing your turn. If you're starting with weak arms, your turn is gonna get all messed up. You wanna have strong arms, strong arm. They have a place to go, they have a place to go, they have a place to land. They have a place to start, they have a place to go, they have a place to land. It's point, point, point. You also wanna have strong ankles like we practiced before. When you're in your releve, you don't wanna be on your pinky ankle or your pinky toe, because then your ankle is gonna be all wobbly. You wanna be on your big toe. You wanna to have those strong ankles, strong support because your turn is gonna start from your ankle. You wanna make sure that when you're spotting forward and you go to turn, you're whipping your head back around to spot right in front of you. If you start, if you're spawning down or if you're spotting too high, you're gonna throw your center off when you're doing your circle. So you wanna spot straight forward and stay there until your body goes all the way around and you're gonna whip back to that spot. Another super important part of this checklist is your supporting leg. So your supporting leg is the leg you're standing on while you're doing your turn. If you're doing your turn and your leg's bent, do you think you're gonna be able to complete the turn correctly? No way, right? So when you're doing your preparation and you go to your passe, you want to have a straight leg. You want to engage your muscles. You want to engage your ankles. You want to engage your knee. You want to have a straight, straight leg to stand on. You also want to have a high passe. So if your leg is all the way up, 
then you're pulling your body up and you're going to have a straighter center of body. If you're having a low pass A, you're going to take your weight over that way and then you're going to end up falling in your turn. Also, you want to have a strong landing. When you're bringing your foot down from your pasta, you want to put it down and you want to stand still. You don't want to be wobbling and wiggling all over the place. You want to do your turn and land and hold it. So then you can go into the next part of the dance or the combination or whatever we are doing.